Cyclone fans, welcome to another episode of Cyclones TV. I'm Sarah Kincart. And I'm Dave Van Gorder. The Cyclones have a home game today, then they're off tomorrow before heading on a six game road trip to Mahoning Valley and Batavia. But for now, let's take a look at how they did last week. The Cyclones went 6-2 and two last week, putting them at 26-24 and 24 on the season, keeping them neck and neck with the Connecticut Tigers in the playoff wildcard race. They trail Connecticut by one game in the race, but look to get a win tonight against them in game three of a series and move in on the wildcard leaders. It was also an exciting weekend here at MCU Park. Brooklyn picked up their first walk-off win of the season on Friday, thanks to a bottom of the ninth rally and a game-winning single by Ahmed Rosario. Marcus Molina threw a gem of a game against the Tigers on Saturday, pitching eight innings and only allowing one run. Michael Conforto also picked up his first and second professional home run of the season. One other thing to look forward to this week, Cyclone fans, is that Brooklyn added two more players to their roster. Outfielder John Mora and 6'10 right-handed pitcher Matiris Arias, so you won't miss him out on the field. Taking a look at our top plays of the week at number 5, we all know Michael Conforto can hit, but now we know he can field. What a catch. Coming in at number four, newcomer John Moore lifts one to right field with a man on third base. Tucker Tharp is driven home to score the tying run at three. And the Cyclones are staying alive. And our number three play of the week, just like Michael Jackson, Johan Urania wears one glove for no apparent reason. Auburn, you've been hit by, you've been struck by, smooth criminal. It's Johan Urania. Coming in at number two, Dave, you said Michael Conforto can hit the ball and catch the ball, but do you know he also has an arm? This one bounces off the wall. Michael Conforto sails it to third base to tag the runner at third. Next play, a single to left field. Conforto picks it up, launches it home, and swipes the runner out. That kid's got a gun. All right, our top play of the week, Ahmed Rosario at the plate, tie game, bottom of the ninth, base hit into left field. That will give a walk-off win for the Cyclones. He's going to promptly get chased around the field by his team, and the party is on in Brooklyn. Congratulations to Ahmed Rosario with our top play of the week, and that brings us to our player of the week. And that is also Ahmed Rosario. The shortstop hit 323 on the week with two triples, six runs, two RBI, and a walk-off single against Auburn. On the season, he's hitting 303 with a team leading 53 hits and 27 runs. Congratulations to our player of the week, Ahmed Rosario. And it's that time to take a look around the Mets organization. The Savannah Sand Nats went 5-2 last week and are 70-38 and on the season, just a half a game behind the Asheville Tourists in the South Atlantic League Southern League Division. The Sand Nats acquired Brooklyn's very own right-handed pitcher, Octavio Acosta, this week, so we send our best wishes to him in Savannah. The St. Lucie Mets went 4-2 on the week. They are now 61-48, and which is second in their division, but they have a crucial three-game series coming up against first place Fort Myers, and they potentially could gain some ground in the standings. The Binghamton Mets have been electric at Nysag Stadium all season. They went 5-2 last week. They're now 67-47, second place in their division. They're currently 11 and a half games up on third place New Britain for the final playoff spot. Over on the West Coast, the 51s went 3-4 last week, and they still lead the Pacific Coast League Pacific Southern Division at 64-53 on the season. That's all we have for this week's Around the Organization. That's all we have this week for Cyclones TV. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at BK Cyclones. For Cyclones TV, I'm Dave Van Gorder. And I'm Sarah Kincart. See you later, Brooklyn.